All right, so I want to take a look at a couple other uh, features in um, Adobe Illustrator with the shape tool. And what we're going to take a look at right now is the align panel, in particular the align panel, and different ways that we can take shapes and move things in front and in back, and actually take another a deeper look at the layer palette. All right, so what I want to do right now is I have opened up uh, my swatches, and I want to open up my layers. And we're going to take a look at how these work. Now, these colors that I pulled out right here, I went down into the Swatch Libraries menu. And if you click, there's all of these different colors. <clears throat> and the one that I picked, actually, I did color properties and I did soft. But that's actually, and this is interesting, I like uh, all these Pantone colors <clears throat> are great. Okay, um, but let's actually stick with... Let's see which other ones. We'll stick with the prehistoric. Why not? Okay, so there's all these different colors that are there. So what I want to do is just come on in here and let's actually draw a star. Now, a star is an interesting object to draw. We can create more and less points of our star. Well, we can double click and get this. We could say, oh no, we want a I double clicked to get this star box. Like I said, I want a three pointed star. And there we can see we have a three pointed star is a triangle. We could add a fill color onto this. And also, as we draw and we create this star shape, and if we want to add or take away, we can do that too. Um, let's see. And I forget, there's a keyboard shortcut. Hold on for one minute. Let me remember. There it is. It refresh my memory. If we pull down, uh, we can have our up key. Our up key will add points to our star on our keyboard. And I'm working on a laptop, but our, our, down, our, key, our down key um, will take away parts of our star. All right, so we have our shape. We'll change this color of this shape. We'll come on in, we'll select. We'll change our color of this shape. We'll come on in right here. We'll change our color of this shape right here. All right, so let's say that I wanted to move this star in, in front of this triangle. Well, all I have to do is select my star, come to Object, Arrange, and actually let's look at this real quick too. When we look at our layers, on every layer we can see that there's one of these objects. Okay, so we can see, oh, okay, here's where they are. Now, the one that's going to be on top is going to be whatever is on top within this layer. Now, we can put things in different layers too, but Illustrator will automatically take the different objects that we draw and pretty much put them within their own sub-layer within a layer. So what I want to do to have this move up, I just want to come to Object, Arrange, and I can say, well, let's try this. Let's say Bring Forward. All right, we see what happened. It came up one in this arrangement, but I want it to be all the way in the front. So I could come again and I could say Bring to Front. And what that does is it brings it to the top of this order inside of here. So we can see how sometimes we might want to say, oh, I want to bring it forward versus bring front. Same with send backward, send to back. Now, let's click. I'm going to select both these objects. We're going to take a look at the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder is an interesting um, feature. And we also can see within here, as I open this, we have the Align and we also have transform. So transform, this is a floating window for the same things that we get from the free transform tool right here. So I can click this, flip it around that way. But what else we can do is we can take this and flip it right on here. We can even shear it if we want to um, and uh, work with the width and the height, make the whole thing bigger right with this little window. Window. Now, when we come to the Pathfinder, there's a bunch of different things we can do here. We can unite, okay? We can minus the front. We can uh, intersect. We can minus where it overlaps. Okay, I'm doing edit undo afterwards. We can divide. All right, so when you divide, we just click this. Now, in order to see this divided, I need to then come in. Now, it's selecting the whole thing, so we might have to select it. A lot of times it gets grouped, so we want to ungroup it, select off, and click, 
And then we can, you know, this we, we've cut this all, which is pretty cool. And we can separate these different objects. Now we have this implied line of sorts. Okay, so I'm edit undoing. What's great in Illustrator is you can go back pretty far with your edit undo. And you can see Apple Z on the Mac is a great thing to learn. I'm going to select both of these guys again, come to my selection tool. And we have other things here. Trim. Okay, uh, we can merge. All right, and you can actually really play around with these and see what they do. See what kinds of things that they do. And the picture really tells you quite a bit. Now, let's actually come on over here. I'm going to take these two different objects, shift, shift, and I can come to the align. And, you know, you can work with aligning the objects, having them line up on the right, having them line up on the, the first one was the left, the right, line up on the top. Okay, same. So, and again, the pictures give you quite a bit of inf information to work with. So, as you work with the align, uh, whoops, as you work with the transform, with the align, with the pathfinder, play around with them. Uh, again, we looked, took a closer look in this video at layers and how within Illustrator, each different object, each different shape in this case, is put on its own sublayer within our layer. We reviewed how we can take these objects and we can change the order where they are placed. That's it for this short video on Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for listening.